Hi, this is Harry, and this week we're looking at what not to do when you're identifying threats and opportunities. Number one, don't wait. Start risk identification early in your projects. Number two, don't stop. Risk identification is an iterative process. Number three, don't look in the wrong places. Look, if you're not sure where to look, ask people who can help you. Number four, don't try to identify every risk. Try this question. What are the most significant risks? Don't wear camouflage hats and sunglasses. Well, maybe that's not such a bad idea after all. Number five, don't leave out key stakeholders. Be sure to include these people in your risk identification process. Here's number six, don't use just one technique. Use a combination of two or three techniques. Number seven, don't look just for the obvious risk. Be sure, obviously, to look at the risk internally, but look for those risks external, too. This is Harry Hall, your project risk coach, and I hope that you are having a great day.